So how do you know if your COVID-19 vaccine is still working? It's a great question. And tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper and uh, finds that doctors at the Duke Medical School in Singapore are actually working to get an answer for you. One rule of thumb is that protection fades after a few months. But some Duke doctors halfway around the globe say that's only based on part of how immunity works. Antibody tests for COVID have been around for a while. But there's another part to your immune system, your T cells. They're harder to track. But researchers at the Duke Medical School in Singapore hope their new test changes that. It's a generalized tool that allows us to rapidly test and understand the T-cell response. T-cells are a big deal because they work differently than antibodies do. While antibodies can leave your body after an infection, T-cells stick around longer, making them a better way to track immunity over the long term. The T-cells recognize infected cells and antibodies recognize a virus, to be very simple. And then basically the T-cell can kill the infected cell. The test mixes blood with some proteins from the COVID virus and waits 24 hours to see if the T cells in the blood respond. Researchers say you shouldn't focus on the raw count, but where you fall compared to everyone else and prioritize more shots for groups on the low end. The message is really, you can now measure the T cell response easily. You can understand whether you have and uh, what kind of levels of T cell response you have. The doctors say this test could be especially helpful for people who are immunocompromised. That's, I think, a, a very good social benefit of understanding what the T cell response is. But the doctors were clear about something else. There's an easy way to misinterpret what this test tells you. And they break down what that is in this story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.